Julie. Good morning. You uh, were uh, furiously texting everybody that works on this program about the testimony, the brilliant testimony of Max Eden yesterday during yes, that hearing was. on the Senate. <laughs> and so uh, and how fortunate are we that Max Eden joins us now? He's a research fellow at the American Enterprise Institute uh, where he focuses on education reform. Max, great job yesterday in wh- what I was told was going to be a book banning hearing, <laughs> but uh, you sort of destroyed that mythology pretty early on. Well done, sir. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks so much for having me on. So this, the Democrats thought they were going to get a lot of traction out of this by saying those crazy conservatives, they're trying to ban books. But what is this really all about, do you think? Yeah, I mean, it is really all about parents realizing that a number of books that contain very sexually explicit and I think, you know, pretty easily, arguably pornographic materials have made their ways into school libraries. And once parents become aware of the specific content, they think, okay, well, this is just not something that I necessarily want lying around in my child's public school. And I think we kind of saw from the hearing, it's it's one of those arguments where when you first hear it, oh, book banning, I don't like that. And, you know, probably 95 percent of people would say no to that. Uh, but mm-hmm. then when you actually read the passages and parents realize it, probably 95 percent of them would be like, yeah, no, I don't want that in school, though. It, I, I felt like Senator Kennedy, when he wasn't reading from the book and making everyone uncomfortable, I think he really <laughs> sort of drilled <laughs> he sort of drilled down, if I may say, on the real issue here. <laughs> And and that is who decides. Somebody is deciding what books are appropriate and what aren't. Somebody is deciding what books will be available to our children and what are. Otherwise, every school library would be voluminous. It would be giant. Every book would be available. So I guess I'll ask you the question. Who should be? Is it the librarian who decides? Is it the school superintendent? What role do parents have in this? And as Democrats were saying yesterday, is it the reality that one angry parent can make the call for the entire community? Is that what we're going toward? Oh, no. I mean, that was an absolutely spurious, you know, kind of, I think, pretty much disingenuous argument, right? There is no democratic system wherein a single parent complaining automatically bans a book. What happens when a parent sees a book of the sort that uh, Senator Kennedy that I read is that they say, hey, I'm, I'm not sure if I want that. Then it goes in front of a review committee. And then in many cases, the school board votes on it, which is exactly what should happen, right? I mean, the decision should come down to the publicly elected representatives who the community says want to run their schools. So it's it's not the librarian who may be a perfectly lovely person or who may be, you know, in the case of the head of the American Library Association, a self-avowed Marxist and that librarian can certainly make an initial decision, but you know the Constitution does not appoint them plenipotentiary power to decide what your child <laughs> reads, nor yeah. does it appoint a random parent with that power. It appoints school boards who parents elect in order to kind of represent and impart community standards. And that's just not a, not a point that I think is controversial to anybody. Uh, Max, it even goes beyond, it goes even further back. There's a organizational system called Follett's Destiny, and it is the categorization system that schools use, school librarians use to determine what a a book is, is categorized, essentially. And for instance, a Nora Roberts book, they, they called it an adult book. So librarians are actually given guidance. It's not, they're, it's just not arbitrary. They give, they're given guidance using Follett's Destiny to figure out what books are adult and which ones are appropriate for minors. Do, do, are people not aware of that? Because I do think that that's important that, you know, essentially if a librarian goes to follow its destiny, sees that a, a book is categorized as adult and decides for that reason it's not, it doesn't have a place in the library. Is that banning? I mean, is Follett's destiny and the practice of banning a bunch of books that should be accessible for, for children? Uh, no, I mean, <laughs> that's, that's not banning. Almost, I mean, none of this is actually banning, right, right? right? As I said in my testimony, you know, if by ban, you mean kind of made unavailable in a school library, then at a certain point, like nearly every single book that has ever been published in the history of mankind has been effectively banned from a school library. For some reason, the left is freaking out when instead of the decision being made beforehand, the decision is made after parents get more information and then parents have a say in that selection process. But 
But no, there's no principal difference between deciding that, say, you know, a, a hustler or playboy is inappropriate before making a purchase decision and deciding that hustler or playboy is inappropriate after making a purchase decision. Max Eden is a research fellow at American Enterprise Institute. He was uh, one of the key witnesses yesterday in this uh, Senate hearing about uh, the move to sort of have some extrajudicial examination of what books are available in public schools, considering some of the books that have slipped through the cracks, as it were. Uh, Mr. Eden, one of the arguments that I hear is that um, if you leave it up to school boards, that means that we'll have community standards that are different. Like what 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 a suburb of Arkansas of of Little Rock, Arkansas might decide is inappropriate there will be very different than what the school board in Manhattan yeah. determines is inappropriate. And so now you've got these different community standards determining how children will be educated. Maybe maybe they'll decide that, you know, uh, to kill a mockingbird is inappropriate. Or, or some other classic piece of literature. Beloved. Because, they love to use yeah. Beloved. So how do you respond to that concern? Yeah, I mean, maybe they will decide that To Kill a Mockingbird is inappropriate, and they have decided that in liberal school districts like Burbank, California. And, you know, that's a decision <laughs> that I, I personally think is profoundly misguided, and I would not want to send my, my kid to a school district that bans To Kill a Mockingbird. Uh, but I'm still comfortable with a community of people who I don't know and who don't reflect my values and who have very different values than mine, having those values imparted through the public school system. Um, you know, there's this degree of pluralism and tolerance that should be accepted by the American public because that's the system that we live in. That's what our democracy is all about. And there seems to be a kind of a, a one-way problem that people on the other side have on this issue. You know, it's it's fine for us to do it with Declaring Mockingbird, but heaven forbid they do it with gender queer. Right, right. Max Eden, great stuff. Uh, thank you for being there yesterday and being such a clear voice. It, it really was appreciated, and we look forward to seeing more of your work. Thank you, Matt. Yeah, thank you all. It's 7.44 now, and... Um, Excuse me, I want to tell you about my friends at Bethesda Sedation Dentistry because if you don't like going to the dentist like I don't go, like going to the dentist, if you actually have dental fear and anxiety so you put it off, sometimes for years, you really need to address this issue. Don't keep putting it off. Fix the problem by fixing your teeth with Dr. Robin, Dr. Depp at Bethesda Sedation Dentistry. As soon as I started going to see them, well, all this. 